In this lesson, I'm going to show you how to play the iconic funk tune, Give It Away Now by the Red Hot Chili Peppers. Now, on the surface, it uh, is, seems like it might be a hard song to play, but the part itself is very simple. Um, but it does use some articulation techniques that we might not have covered in other songs prior to this. Um, Flea uses a lot of dead notes in the part, and uh, he's really aggressive in the playing, so some of the sound that he gets is really a function of how hard he's playing and uh, how he's using the dead notes. Um, well, okay, so let's just take a look here. It's in the key of A, and it's basically one riff that repeats over and over again for most of the song, <clears throat> and it goes something like this. So let me break the part down for you. We are using the open A string as the first note. And then there's this big sliding uh, articulation. He, he attacks the note, and but the, the note itself is really just a slide up the neck. I, I usually start from the E here on the D string, uh, from the second fret, and slide all the way up to an the high E at the 14th fret, and then I'm playing a G here um, on the 12th fret of the G string, the octave up. So this motion takes place within the span of an eighth note. So if an eighth note's like this, It's kind of a quick motion. That, that's going to be the hardest part, is to really move up the neck accurately and land at the 14th fret on the E here. Now, let's take a look at some of the dead notes, which really help make the rhythm of this. He's almost like playing drums on the bass. To begin with, when you hit the open A string, you're going to mute it with kind of a hard a hard slapping of the fingers against the bass and it makes a percussive sound. That's one of the dead notes. It's not just a, a cutting off of the note, it's an actual slapping of your hand on the strings. It, it forces the string down onto the fret and makes sorts uh, like, a, like a clacking sound. So there's there's the the muting slap that's one dead note and then there's a second one after it so that's three three um, notes let's say one a and two dead notes The next note is going to be the sliding note to the high E. Like that. Let me slow it down a little bit more. I use my third finger on this sliding note so that when I land in position on the high E, my first finger is already at the 12th fret, and that makes hitting that high G easy. This is going to take some practice to get this rhythm right and to get it to feel right so you can get the, the funkiness in it. And this the the two dead notes in a row with a slap and a and a and a push from your finger is something you're going to repeat for the second half of the line. That's two dead notes and a C here on the third fret, like that. 
So I have my two fingers. I slap both fingers onto the string. Dead note with the first. The second note actually makes the, the C note itself. And if you notice on my left hand, I'm when I'm hitting dead notes, these fingers are keeping the strings from ringing. And you can really hit it hard if you want to sound like Flea. Now, um, in, in the song, uh, you have the, the, the answering uh, riff down here at the bottom. The first time it happens twice, the second time it happens once on the C. So the first time, that's twice. And the second time, wait. First time, wait. So that's the basic pattern, and that will repeat throughout the song, except in the B sections, like the, the bridge sections that happen sort of later on in the song. And there, it's kind of the same motif, uh, just played in E, but there is a different note. So um, it, it's the same rhythm, let's say. But... It's not the exact same note pattern relative to the E. So if, 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 if the A is going up to this high G as a part of its pattern, the, when you play it in E, you actually go to a lower G. So it's a different note relative to E, but um, it's the same actual physical note as the, the version in A. So instead of sliding up the A string, I'm sliding up the E string. the same dead note pattern in the beginning there. one open E and then two dead notes and then the big slide the high G um, so those are the two parts. The, uh, the, the E part plays during that B section, and then it just goes right back to the A again. The only other thing um, to note is that you can't, on the C, you can bend it a little bit. Just a very little bit, not, not, not too much, not a whole half step up, but just, just sort of dig into it a little bit. See, even though the notes are quite simple, the part itself is a little bit more complicated because of all the rhythmic elements and the way you're using dead notes. Uh, but Flea is a great example of a bass player who uses a lot of dead notes and really a lot of uh, aggressive playing and really biting into the strings, which I like a lot. Um, so I enjoy playing that, that bass line a lot. So there you go. That's uh, Red Hot Chili Pe Peppers. Uh, give it away now.